Now we're going to assemble the z-axis of your x-carve. Take a look at the z-plate that's provided. There's a large hole that's designed to accept a flanged bearing. One side is recessed slightly and the other is not. We'll be inserting the bearing from the recessed side. Take a look at the flanged bearing. The larger part, or the flange, will not fit through this hole. So insert it with the smaller side first. When you've inserted the flange bearing, it should be flush with the Z-plate. If it's not, press a little harder to get it in place. Now we'll use two small screws to secure this flange bearing to the plate. You want to thread these screws from the side with the flange. Get them finger tight first and flush with the bearing, and then tighten them down. We'll use self-tapping screws again to attach the Z plate with the Z axis maker slide. Again, use cutting fluid if you have it. It makes this step a lot easier. You'll want the flange side of the plate to be facing down or towards the maker slide, and you'll want the rails of the maker slide to face out or towards the bearing side of the plate. Now we're going to attach the Z-axis to the X-carriage. The first thing we'll do is put two small screws through the X-carriage and tighten some insertion nuts on the other side. You'll want these insertion nuts to be only a few threads onto the screws and both parallel and facing in the vertical direction. We'll slide the Z-axis maker slide onto these insertion nuts Snug these screws down just a little bit in order to keep the z-axis in place. Now we'll rock the whole machine onto its back in order to put two more insertion nuts into the bottom of the z-axis maker slide. Put an insertion nut into each slot in the maker slide and push a screw through the X carriage and thread it into the insertion nut. It can be easy to let these insertion nuts slide to the top of the Z-axis maker slide. If that happens, just rock the machine and slide the insertion nut out to try again. Once all four screws that attach the Z-axis maker slide are threaded, get them hand tight and then crank them all down as much as you can. You'll want to align the Z-axis with the X carriage. If you do this correctly, there'll be a small portion of the Z-axis sticking out from the bottom of the X carriage. This is easy to see in the video right here. 